Good morning. Today is Thursday, September 19th, 2024. No? Okay, let me change it. Morning. For anyone who is either not having or doesn't want to have a good morning. What do you mean? No, it's no, it's not 2012. It's it's not 2012. It's it's 2024. Sorry, it's I I can't. I don't make the rules. But it's 2024. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> uh. Hi, everybody. How are y'all doing? I had a good day yesterday. I got some things done. Um, I got to hang out with... Uh, you and Haley last night and get a chance to see y'all work on your craft. That was fun. I played some Nautica. Scared the bejesus out of me. I haven't found the bejesus. As soon as I do, I can put them back. Um, it was a good day. So I'm, I'm coming into Thursday with a, a very, like, positive energy. That's my plan. Bring a positive energy, do laundry, and then keep up that positive energy. I really need to like do laundry. It does feel like I'm only just now progressing in the game. It's true. Hey you. I'm cold. I appreciate everyone asking how I'm feeling. Um, I'm. How do I put this? When. When the bad time occurs, and I have to go to the bathroom, like that, that's where it's bad. And then when that is over, I'm okay. So like, you know, yesterday, um, I had to pause the stream for a bit. And after that, I was better. Um, can I tell that th things are still wrong? Yes. Yes. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Have you tried having a better body? Uh, actually, yes. I did try. I technically tried whenever I had that long stint at going to the uh, gastroenterologist. That was technically me trying to have a better body. Uh, the conclusion was, you can't. <laughs> so, uh... I guess that's not going to work out. It's fine. He happy. Summer Noir says, is you considered Metamucil? From what I understand, there's multiple types of IBS. There is. Yeah. So it depends on a few different things. To answer the question, no, have I tried it? No. I have not tried it. I could. I, I go through periods, and I think other people with like chronic illness can maybe relate to this idea, where I'll go through like long stretches where I'm just like, this is a thing that I live with, and then I'll get to a point where I'm extremely frustrated with the situation because of, of a flare-up or, or, or whatever. And then I might take time to try and come up with a better solution to something. And maybe I, I learn something, maybe I don't. Um, and then at some point you go back into that, that groove of like, this is what life is like. So, yeah, I think, I think in the past week I'm, I'm getting some of that energy to try and deal with it so maybe I'll try something yeah <laughs> the worst is when you have oh it scrolled too quick 
the worst is when you actually have a rare good day and you're like, wait, this is how it's supposed to be? It's true. Coffee. It's true. <laughs> Haley, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Oh god, I can't take it anymore. I can't live like Liz. Please kill, kill me. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> yeah. Your eyes are so closed. They're like... Oh, you took... Sorry. I thought you had blood all over you. No, I don't. <sighs> Put it on your yogurt. Tiny Eddie's oatmeal and onion ring lemon flakes. Mal took no. her polish off, and her polish was red. I just looked over, and there was just... I was like, oh my god, there's so much blood. <laughs> no, I didn't get the little edges off, because I did the peel-off base coat. So it sticks on the edges. I see. So I have okay. to remove that. Because I, I got briefly, glue all over my polish yesterday. Briefly, extremely yeah. concerned. Like, I get it. Sometimes you might have a little blood. Someone might pick a, like, a hangnail, right? But if it was on every one of your fingers, I was like, um... No, it did not stain. I just didn't get it off the edges. I see. We did a thousand bits from Elven Scouts. It says, good morning and good vibes from New York. It's that time again, the snack divination. So cast ye forth the bones of fate, Edward of diminutive stature. You got oatmeal and onion ring lemon flakes. Almost. That is a loud noise. Yeah. It's, um, a leaf blower. The loudest leaf blower. Is there a... Is the music playing? I can't it was. hear the music. Oh, it's playing. Does the end this... of the song just must be nothing. It's quietly. Maybe just uncheck this song. I still want you quietly. Yeah, the last like 25 seconds of this are very low. You know what's interesting is that it has a play count on the side. So like we can see how many times a song has been played. I like how you didn't uncheck it when I told you to do it. So you didn't have to do this ever again. <laughs> and then it switched and then it was gone. You say it's gone, like it's gone forever. <laughs> like we've lost it to the ether. It like, just I takes can... more work to go get it now. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Vagabond, skip this one. It's Thursday. Yeah, this is called Tuesday Dub. <laughs> it's going to confuse us. We better skip this one too. Maybe we should uncheck it so it never comes up again because there's a 50% chance we don't want to play it. <laughs> I need to get back to alerts. We've gotten off track. <laughs> we got focused on lemon flakes the concept of a lemon flake doesn't sound bad i just no. don't want to combine an onion ring with correct. it. correct keep onion rings out of my lemons we got 47 months from cock 9 27 from dtran 365 36 months from private brother for christ that's a three congrats on three three new bits from uh totora kids who says still recovering from a bad sickness so i'm definitely watching the banjo vod today after this hope you get feeling better Good vibes. I got the good the good vibe shirt today, so I can just offer them by pointing. Banjovod's good. Banjovod is is very good, and we'll be doing more banjo tomorrow night, which I'm excited about. Me too. Onion rings with lemon pepper. Yeah, that would work. That would be fine. I wonder if Josh will remember that tomorrow is Friday, and then on Fridays we do the banjo. Josh tried multiple oh times, bless his heart, to do something on Friday. He told me, he was like, I want to watch the stream. And I was like, got you. And then I, I looked on Twitter and he's like, uh, we'll be streaming on Friday night. And then I had to reach out to him and I was like, do you... Did you remember? He goes, oh, shoot. So then he had to change his stream schedule. And then I heard from someone else. It was like, oh, we're going to be doing um, uh, a stream together. We want anyone that can join in to to join us. He's like, it's going to be me and Josh and whoever. And I was like, oh, when's that? He's like, Friday night. And I was like... He's like, yeah, we had a me and Josh had a discussion about it. And he's like, Josh said that that would be the best night. 
<laughs> I, I was like, um, <laughs> and Josh again was like, ah, crap. So I don't know. I was I was very excited that Josh was there uh, last week. I just don't know <laughs> that Josh will be there again. Me that. Oh, I also got to do... Um, Thank you. Let me word this in a not Friday Night Stream way. I have to create a head for Joshua. So if he wants to... If he wants to... Um, contribute a... Gruntilda rhyme, he can. I have a reminder for it. Anyway, we got... Hey, Haley, I have a... I have a reminder. <laughs> Mike. I have a reminder, and, um... You're not too far off from what I wrote down. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Uh, we got 43 months from Furious Kitty, 63 from Somber Mink, 54 from Victoria Swift, 46 from Lost Vagabond. Three bits from Souls Wind says, so your vlog is paused on my side screen. I'm listening in to your stream on the main screen while I watch your YouTube short that came up as recommended on my phone. Hashtag Steven permeates my life. Love you both. There is a lot to, to watch, um, which I think has always been a pro and a con of our stuff. The pro is if you if you want stuff to watch, oh, it's we have there. got you so covered. And then the con is if you're trying to keep up with everything, you might go, uh oh. So sometimes you have to like pick and choose. So we a lot of times we get people that like they're like, oh, I watch the vlog or I watch the streams. Even the people who watch streams usually are like, I watch these streams. <laughs> yeah, Chaz Ch Ch says, the con is from 2015 to 2019, you were doing a bad to yourself. Those really are the years, aren't they? I was trying to think. Things probably started to get a little, a little gross in 2013, but 2015, I think, was the year where things were like, uh oh. Hmm. Things are better now. I think so. Yeah. You know better than anyone. Mm -hmm. So if if you can defend I was just thinking say, back to twenty twelve. And how different twenty twelve was? Mm, yeah. In twenty twelve, uh that summer we had moved back to Myrtle Beach. We had went to PAX for the first time, stayed with Paul. You had really, really wanted cats, and I said you had to wait until after PAX. We got back from PAX, and then we went and we picked up Sagan and Kepler. Yeah. And the work schedule in 2012 was... I think in school years, so, like, I was thinking, like, 2011, 2012, when we lived in Columbia. Oh. Yeah. Healy says, I remember the phone calls I got in 2012 from Al. Oh, no. Oh, no. Life was, uh, yeah, life was rough. Life was, uh... Yeah. Li life was, life was uh, not super great. And I was not very available because I uh, was in the work pit mm -hmm. for several years. I climbed out. It just took a while. Anyway, uh, 300 bits from Fierce Kitty, it says, uh... Haley says, I was so mad you thought this YouTube thing was going to work. I was right. <laughs> I just need a little time. Then you get some furious kitty says, good afternoon, folks. I'm sorry I haven't watched any streams or vlogs for the longest time. Had to work my butt off, but I haven't forgotten you. I can relate to chronic problems. I hope you feel better. Uh, I hope you feel better, Steven. Good vibes. iPhone 16 height. Sorry, Chess says he missed out on his true calling as an umbrella shuffler. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. I, I I started feeling bad on Saturday, so I, I certainly I can't feel much worse for much longer. Uh, and yeah, iPhone 16 is uh, tomorrow. 
I didn't get a new phone. I got a, I had a, I get a phone from last year, but Mal's getting a phone tomorrow. To answer your question. I just opened up the thing and it was like, you'll get it tomorrow. Yeah. So I was just like, okay. Um, that'll be fun for you. Yeah. You can, uh, it'll do a better. I'm most excited about a brand new battery because my phone is um, like at 78% health. If all you wanted was a battery, we could have solved that uh, I mean, I'm excited easily. about a new camera. Yeah, it's it actually is a big update from mm-hmm. the what you have. Like, I know there's other things I'm going to get. Yeah. But my the, phone is four years old. The Very specifically, the jump from the 12 is, is noticeable because the 12 was the last one where they had small sensor. That was the last, that was the last one. The Pro Max 12 had a, had a big sensor, but the 12 Pro had baby sensor. I want cameras to be better and battery, and like that's the things I care about. Yeah. Battery life is also just better now, yeah. so, yeah. I mean, it's true. Vagabond says, really, the only thing people care about is a new camera and better battery with phones. There's probably a subset of people that care about... How small the phone is? No. <laughs> Data suggests no one wants a small phone. Uh, I was going to say, there's probably people that care about, like, GPU. Right? Because there, there are people that, like, want to play games on their phone, and it's very hard for me to understand why they want to play AAA titles on a phone. But like, okay, if I mean, for a lot of people, that is their only thing. Like, if they don't have a if they don't have a dedicated desktop computer, which a lot of people don't, yeah. let alone a, a, a gaming PC. I understand PC. why they might not want small phone, but I want small phone because I have medium phone, and I still want to just get on the desktop because I prefer a keyboard. It's hard. Yeah, this is. Oh yeah, my battery is eighty, but I'm hoping to get a few more years out of this one. My 12, when I got the 15 last year, my 12 Pro Max battery was at 74. But I also use it to shoot the vlog. So, inherently I'm using the battery more. There's a bunch of battery saving things. As a part of iOS 18, uh, one of the things that it's doing is it will, after you've used iOS 18 for like a few weeks, It'll analyze how often you're charging your battery and what the percentages is, and it'll make a recommendation to you about what to set your max charge to. So if it's like, oh, you don't need more than 80% battery, it'll suggest, hey, only charge to 80% every day. And to be honest, I could probably get away with that because I don't use my phone a whole lot. And you're normally home. And I'm normally home. Mm -hmm. And I've never done that. I've never set the battery cap before, but I kind of think that I should because there has not been a time since I've owned this phone in the last year that I've ever fell below 20% battery, ever. So I should probably just do it. It would help my battery last longer. Anyway, uh, we got 300 bits from Luna Gazer. It says, let's spin the clown wheel and see what we get. There's a, a big, big selection. Big selection. NG Bin says not even in Japan, especially not in Japan, because I had um, batteries with me, mm-hmm. a uh, like an anchor battery pack. A brick. A, a big brick battery. Yeah. So if I if I was getting low, I usually don't carry that around with me. But in if I'm traveling, then I do. So uh, we had 100 bits from Echo Tree Keeper. 300 bits from Satsi, it says, I've been slowly working on tidying the house, and I showed my aunt some progress photos. She's coming over this weekend. Clearly, I'm not doing good enough. Anyway, I played games until 7 a.m. I am exhausted. Sometimes you just want to play games until 7 a.m. Sometimes. It's not something I want to do often, because it does cause me a an oof, and I'm sure it causes you an oof. But occasionally, you just do want to do that. So. Yeah, I, um... You know what? If I don't do it now... Furious Kitty, uh, just so you know, I did change my prefix. 
Oh yeah, Mao, um, Mao, you have to be a partner for 60 days before it lets you change your prefix. And Mao has done that, so now she can just be Mao Makes instead of Mao Mac. We were hoping to get Mao, but that, that was, was not taken. that was not available, and we were like, ah, well, dang. Renee says, wait, you mean you aren't supposed to charge your phone all the way to 100%? So if you can get away with not doing that, it will make your battery last longer. So... Okay, so in iOS 18, you can just straight up choose your charge limit. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna lower it. I'm gonna lower it to 85. Sure. So, we'll try this out for a while. So I'll only be charging my phone to 85%. I don't think I need it any higher than that, to be honest. Uh, let's see. We got, uh... <laughs> Renee says, are you telling me I've been doing the phone wrong this entire time? You know what it is, Renee? Things have changed. It's because things have changed. Mm -hmm. We've been using cell phones since the beginning of cell phones, and the rules on battery charging has changed. That's why it's confusing, is because there was a time where they're like, so whatever you do, keep it as full as you can. Keep it as topped off as you can, and that's because it was the type of battery that was in the phones. So the rules changed have like multiple times depending on the type of batteries that we've used in phones, but we don't like relearn the rules. And then at some point we learn a new rule and we're like, wait a minute, why, why is, and it's because it's changed. It does, it is awful. Like it's, it's good that technology is advancing, but it's bad because, yeah, you know, you don't have, it's like, it's, it's the same thing um, with like, uh, health advice like there's health things that we learned like 50 or 60 years ago and then in modern day we're like oh wait no no don't do that but it's still ingrained like passing it on from family member to family member and it's like oh well if if that hurts just do this and then like a modern day like doctor out of school is like jesus do not do that what <laughs> it's fine we're doing the best we can uh we got uh yeah <laughs> yeah Vagabond, you're telling me smoking cigarettes is bad for me? I was just reading about how in the 60s, if you did not allow smoking in your house, like, you would be really weird to be like, please don't smoke in my house, go outside to smoke. Mm -hmm. And, like, that person would probably never come back over. Yeah. And how you used to be able to smoke in hospital rooms unless there was, like, oxygen in use. Yeah, Uncle Dave has lung cancer. We're not sure what's up with that. Hey, nurse. Nurse also has a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, um... We learn things. Uh-huh. You know, as, as time goes on, we, we learn things. I also do not miss smoking sections. Because even when I was a kid, like, that was, that was very difficult. Yes. Um, I vividly remember, like, where I lived, banning smoking inside restaurants yeah and being like wow i honestly never thought it would happen based on wisconsin culture at the time growing up it was i mean for anyone that's you know old enough to remember um it that's just the, that's just the way it was mm -hmm. like the idea that there would ever be non like non-smoking restaurants was mm -hmm. just weird it's like oh well obviously there's always gonna be that and the thing that I remember most is that there would be some times that, because my parents never wanted to sit in smoking because we all hated it, but if we'd get into a non-smoking section on the line, because sometimes it was the smoking section and non-smoking, but it was like a booth difference. Yeah. So we'd be in the non-smoking, but the people behind us were in the smoking section and would smoke, and then like, it's this, it's basically the same thing. There has to be a large divide. Yeah. And going to Japan, because Fossick brings up Japan. Yeah. Smoking was very prevalent in Japan when we went in 2016. And then, like, a little bit less in 2019, but it was very noticeable when we went this past spring. Like, how... I mean, there was a lot of smoking still, and I didn't love it, but, yeah. like, it's less. <laughs> Noah says, Secondhand smoke can't cross the imaginary barrier between smoking and non smoking <laughs> I forgot that cigarette smoke is very respectful of, of <laughs> sectioning. <laughs> The smoke's like, oh wait, oh, I'm not supposed to be over there. Yeah, it's, 
It is, and as a result, nowadays, if you go into a place and people are smoking, like there's a place oh, where yeah. smoking is loud, you're like, what year is it? Yeah. So, it's, uh, it's, it's different. Anyway. Did you have friends whose family smoked in their house growing up? I vividly know of, like, have memories of going to a sleepover and, like, the girl's parents smoked in the house and being very upset about it as a child. I'm trying to think. I actually don't know that I did. Hmm. I know but I also remember being the like, bane what? of all of your friends with Tiny Eddie's Tabasco Fruity Sticks. Oh, that's a fun combination. <laughs> Goodness. 1050 from Anise who says, does iPhone also tank their batteries after a year or two? Because Android does and it sucks, which meant I did in fact buy a new phone for a healthy battery. So there, this is a whole other thing of discussion that I don't want to jump into. There, for, for many years, Apple was doing this thing where they would um, underclock the CPU after the battery health became worse because it would help the phone, you know, run better and have the battery last longer. And people would notice it most after a major update. OS update because there was like new things that were asking the phone to do, you know, extra stuff. There was a big lawsuit about it because everyone that was like, I feel like my phone runs slower after an update, like wasn't crazy. The reason Apple was doing it was to help the battery live longer but they weren't giving the consumer the option. So now it's an option. Now it's a thing that you can actually disable. But if, if you if you update your phone and you're like, this seems slower, it might actually be slower and you can make it go back to the normal speed. It's just, you're doing so at the risk of the, the battery. I assume that Android probably has something like that as well. I'm not terribly well versed in, in Android phones, but I assume that, at this point, I generally assume that they're the same thing. Same thing, different logo. Uh, anyway, Tabasco Fruity Sticks. I don't that love- That could work. It'd be like fruit leather, but with Tabasco in it. Someone loves that. Someone, I can think it's of not, someone who would definitely try it and maybe like it. It's not for me, because I don't like hot sauce. It just, I don't like the flavor of hot sauce. I've tried so many hot sauces and I'm just like, this just not, the something about the flavor. I'm like, I don't mm. like it. Anyway, uh, we got three into bits and Belladonna Princess says, been having a bad two weeks, found out my grandpa is in hospice with liver uh, failure and refused treatment. Good vibes. And hold on, there is more. And I was a victim of money fraud on Tuesday. Everything is taken care of with the money fraud, but I was stressed during that time. Good vibes. Yeah. That's a lot. That is a lot. That is, that's a bad two weeks. Yeah. That's a bad two weeks. Sometimes you call a spade a spade. That's a bad two weeks. I sincerely hope that things turn around in in every good possible way that they can. And uh, my best to you and your family right now, because having your, your grandpa be in that position is just inherently difficult. So good vibes to you. Uh, we got uh, 35 months from Max to Sableye, uh, 28 months from Dan the Warrior, and uh, 500 bits of Melvin Scouts has got to try Takayaki last night, and it was one of the single greatest tastes I've ever experienced. I hadn't realized bar food could be so good until that point. So yeah, if anyone needs to catch a contact tie off my good vibes, I ain't mad about it. I don't know that I've ever actually tried Takayaki. Did you not have one at um, the Fire Festival? I got some. That's the first time I had had them. No, I think I I think I was interested in trying one. But it had a lot of mayo on it. It was either that it or had a lot of mayo on or it. maybe by the time I wanted to try one, they were all gone or something. I don't know. Because I'm I'm someone that's I'm not I'm not a octopus person. I'm just not. I don't. It was removed enough that I think you would have been fine with it. That's why yeah. I think I could probably do takoyaki mm -hmm. because I've had octopus um, nigiri which yeah. is like the most <laughs> pure form I think of having it. Um, and like, I, I've, I've tried it. I've tried octopus nigiri on three different occasions. And I think at this point I've, I've just decided I can't do it. I'm like, I can't do this. I just can't. I've tried three different times and it has not went well for me, but I could probably do takoyaki. Yeah, I think you could. Yeah. 
<laughs> Renee says, maybe the octopus is not a Steven person. Never think about that. <laughs> I am not Octodad. Is the next vlog Fire Festival to edit for Japan? That's the one I'm... I'm I don't want to. I don't want to say the words I'm working on as if I'm about to go work on it. But yes, the that one is you the, need to do. That next. I have started okay. working on it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's That's, the, that may be the biggest one. I'm pretty sure it's the biggest Japan yep. day. It's a it's a mess. <laughs> like the mileage we covered in Japan. It's a that mess. day. Like just you, me, Chaz, and Brandon. Yeah. It, was a lot. It it yeah. I I didn't I didn't release any Japan vlogs in August, which is a a travesty, um, but then also th the next one that comes out is terribly difficult and yeah. long, so I'll, I'll eventually get it cut down. <laughs> Fire Festival Japan. We started the day in Tokyo, took the Shinkansen, like, crazy distances, stopped multiple times to look at different towns, we went up a mountain on a different train to look at that town and ended the day by going to a fire festival in a very, very small town in the middle of nowhere. That they've been doing it for, like, hundreds of years or whatever. Yeah, and we had to walk, like... Forever. Forever to get there. Yeah. And then we ended the night by going to Izakaya. And, like, it was just this huge day. That that uh, Izakaya was the... Because I was talking about it on Disc Only, about the uh, raw chicken. Yeah. That was the Izakaya that had raw chicken. Yeah. And we were all like, ha, hmm, no. Like, I'm sure they know, and like, oh, yeah, I, it's I, fine, but like. There's no part of me, there's that, no part of me that believes that like, oh, I will be sick. Yeah. I believe I would be fine, but like, it's just, it's too weird. Yeah. My brain. It's too ingrained it's in. It's too ingrained that it is yeah. like danger. Yeah. You know? And I'm like, I can't, I don't think I can do that. If I was around a lot of people that were doing it. <laughs> so what you're saying is you're very susceptible to peer pressure. Well, I'm not susceptible <laughs> to peer pressure, but if everyone was doing it, I would allow myself to be susceptible to peer pressure because there is a huge interest in trying foods. When it comes to foods, I'm like, yeah, but like, I, there's no way I want to be the only person at the table that orders raw chicken. I don't want to do that. Mike had a good question about um, vacations and do you relax on them? <laughs> Mike says, does it ever come to a point where there is too much effort being put in for a vacation? Don't you guys want to go on a full relaxing vacation? I think different people take it differently. Like, I also think I it think... depends on the day of the vacation. Because there's days that, that are more relaxing. Although on the whole, on the whole, when we go on vacation, we typically are not doing nothing. Yeah. That's how I prefer to do it. I like to, well, it's, it's hard. Because like, that day of Japan was one of my favorites because we had backpacks and it was like, quick, let's put them in this coin locker so we can catch this train. Chess says, I can full relax at home and it's free. If I'm paying to go somewhere, I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Chaz I, and I traveled well together in Japan. <laughs> I I tend to I tend to agree with 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 Chaz on this. Yeah. Um, I I've always enjoyed learning about things whenever I went on vacation. Like when I was a kid, um, and I would go places like with my parents. Like it w we were always interested in going to like museums and aquariums and and all this stuff. And uh, there was never, even when I was young, there wasn't really a time where we went on a vacation and we were like, ah, oh, we're going to do nothing. That's not really anything that we did. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's why we mesh well now. Yeah. Because it, like, I never really did that. Yeah. Um, do I like the idea of relaxing? I mean, I do, but I... I, I think I would be so bored on, like, here is a resort I, on the beach. Like, I, I think, think I'd like it for, like, a day. Yeah. And then I'd be like, okay, what can we do? I think it would be fine. You know what we should do? Hmm. You know what we should do? At some point, at some point in the future, we should take a weekend trip. We should do a short trip to somewhere where we would relax. That's not happening. What do you mean? I'm going to be bored. It would be short. It's a weekend trip. Listen, there's like, there's this trip to the Outer Banks I want to do. I've talked about it. Going to Ocracoke. 
But I'm like, ooh, but then we can take the ferry to this island and walk around and like look at the stuff because it's an island where no one lives anymore because the government was like, no one can live on this island, everyone get off this island. And now it's like a national park. And I was like, ooh, and then we can walk around this town and we can rent bikes and bike up the coast. <laughs> Listen, I, it, it's not that There's I, a trip I want to do next year that's literally bike across the state of Missouri. <laughs> listen, it's it's not that I don't want to do... I love doing things. It's it's great to do things. But we've never really done a relax vacation. Whenever we've had relax days on vacation, for example. Okay. In Greece, on boat. Okay. Like, the days... Like, if we weren't at a stop and we were just on the boat, I was bored. I mean... And it was the same on River Trip to China. It that was, like, was boring. And it was also the same on the, like, fun day at sea when we did the carnival cruise okay, with Alex okay. and Haley. But, but, but Mao, 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 You are describing... Everything you just described was boats. That's because we never sit around on vacation. I know, but, like, everything you're describing is, like, when we were on the boat that has nothing to do and is rocking back and forth, like, I was bored. That, yes... That would be a bad experience. I'm talking about we go, if we are at a place where like, you can just relax, that's not a boat, it could be different. Mm, but then I'm gonna wanna go do something. No, listen, listen. It's gonna wanna go for a hike or a walk or go shopping to look in shops. What if, okay, I have an idea, <laughs> I have an idea. You remember the time that we went up to Wilmington and stayed the night? Okay. And the only thing we did was go up and sleep and eat brunch and leave. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. Okay. That is as close as we've ever come to having a relaxing vacation. And I'm, I'm cool with that being like a one night thing. I kind of like that. Because I agree with you. If I'm on vacation, I want to like do things. But... It might be nice to be away from home because home is where st stress lives here. This is where we work. So like this is, we we have the stress zones here. It'd be nice to get away from the house and then not do anything, but keep it like short. So like one, like just one night. Home is where the stress is. We have that em embroidered on the wall. <laughs> so. Vagabond says, that isn't even relaxing. That's just staying in a place to sleep. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Well, she doesn't want to do this. I'm willing to try this. <laughs> I grew up at the beach. So the idea of going to a beach is not exciting to me. Because I'm like, ah, no, I lived there forever. Vagabond says, take a solo vacation. That is not me. That is a thousand percent not me. I would not do that. I would just stay home and work. <laughs> I mean, I am. <laughs> what? Sort of, kind of. Taking a solo vacation? Yeah. yeah, well, that's you. Yeah. That's you. I don't like to I don't like to do things by myself. That's just not that's not fun for me. I want to be around like some other person and do a thing. If it's just me, then I'm like, eh. Like, there's times where I'll do things by myself. Yeah. Like, in Japan, I had a day that was mostly by myself because... Oh, yeah, one of the last days. Everyone was busy, and I wanted to um, uh, Look go... Look at games. I wanted to do game stuff, and I wanted to do... Well, it was more than that. I wanted to do all game of stores. the game stores, <laughs> yeah. and I, I needed to not have people with me. Yeah. Because you had to do it... Yeah, it was also pouring rain that day and yeah that, was that day a, was a little miserable it was it was miserable but i was like listen i'm i'm going out to buy japanese gamecube games and i need everyone to st just relax um i think Haley and i went to the fabric district then i met up with Haley that day though did you yeah yeah because i did a bunch of stuff on my own in in the morning and then at some point i met up with alex and Haley because that i was with them when we bought lsd the video game. Just to clarify, the video game. <laughs> what day was that? What was I doing? That was the day. You were often on your own and did your own thing. That day, you were like, I just want to go explore the train time. Oh, is that when I went to Kawagoi and I, I don't uh, know. Saitama? I, I don't know. 
Mao had a million things that she wanted to do yeah. and and did them, to her credit. But also, there's a fair bit of the vacation where, like, I don't even see you because you are just yeah. gone. <laughs> Maybe if you edit the vlog, we'll know. I'm working on it. I released a vlog yesterday. I have one set for 10 this morning. I don't have anything else going on today other than just, like, working on vlogs specifically. So, um... I had a bunch of email stuff I had to deal with yesterday, and yeah. I dealt with it. Like, a l way more email stuff than I should have ever had. <laughs> I've just been, I've been juggling things, and I've been like, oh, yeah, emails. Mm-hmm. And then yesterday, I was like, oh, I really need to do this. Yeah, there are March vlogs missing. It is true. <laughs> they will come out, I promise. Listen, if I can finish Fallout 4, I can do anything. I can do anything. If people are like, you can't walk on the moon, I'd be like, I've finished a video game. Hi, you. Good morning. Haley, is this Japan vlog tomorrow? <laughs> the one that needs to come out. You have to start now and like, if, if you right after breakfast, the night. If right after breakfast stream, I sat down and worked exclusively on it all day and like did not stop, I would probably, I could probably finish it by like four or five in the morning. So, what you're saying... Sounds great! <laughs> Can't wait to see it. Ah, uh, I love that you, you care deeply about me. <laughs> I'll take care of dinner. How I'm doing. Dinner's done! We have meatloaf! Do we have enough meatloaf? Yes. Okay. So, I'll take care of reheating dinner. I'll bring it up to you. I'll bring it I'll upstairs. take care of dinner. Two minutes in the microwave. I got Today's you. Today's your laundry day. Haley says, I'll take Mal to do something fun. That's literally what you did yesterday. You were both gone all day. You had fun all day. I worked. You had fun. Today's your laundry day. She says we were working. Today's your laundry day. I'll do your laundry. <laughs> you were, I mean, you I'll were. I'll do your laundry if you do it. I have, I have modern present day vlogs to deal with. I got to I got it. There's two. Haley was sweating. Haley was. It was standing in I my kitchen. I ended up kitchen. with a migraine last night from it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I think it was the smell of the adhesive, honestly. Hey, Haley and Mao were working on a craft. They they finished the craft. Both very very cute. We decorated witch hats. They're witches, so they 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 decorated witch hats for Halloween. And it was very cute. So at some point that'll be a but the, but no that can't that can't you know that can't come out because I have to work on Japan. Run a poll. What do you want to see? No no don't run a poll. <laughs> so it's the thing right? It's the thing. Like I could I could either spend the rest of my day in the Japan mines, mm -hmm. or I could I could accomplish several present day vlogs. I, I I feel like the thing that would that would make my my heart feel better is to get multiple things done instead of possibly not even finishing one thing. But everyone wants to see Japan, so I'll tell you what. I might I think I'll work on like I think I'll work on like two present day vlogs. So I can have some stuff to release maybe tomorrow. Okay. And then maybe I'll work on Japan. Maybe I will. I'm gonna have to talk to Haley or Alex about what they were doing because I have a, I have a ton of their footage from that day and like I don't even know what they're doing. I don't even know where they are. And I think that's- Is there one where they're just in this room and like you, Chaz, and I were watching it and we're like, what are they, where are they? Like, I think that's the, that might be the day where they're, they don't, there's no exposition about where yeah. they are. I don't know that they ever talk about it. So it's just footage. And I'm like, I don't know where you are. I know you're in Osaka, but like, what are you doing? So I might have to talk to them. Anyway, there's, I should read more alerts. There's, these are alerts are from 20 minutes ago. We got 310 bits from Dan the Warrior says, uh, hope you're doing well. I am waiting for a friend before we go and have a bestie day. 
I also am trying to re-addict my brain on a new drink since a few weeks ago I went to the hospital for possible gastritis and now I'm trying to fix my drink habits, non-alcohol. Well, first off, enjoy your bestie day. I want a bestie day. <laughs> um, and I hope that uh, you're able to fix habits. Yeah. Gastritis sucks. Big suck. So I hope that you're able to get all that doing well. Uh, we got Did three... you see what Thomas said? My clips are the best. Short, establishing, and comedy gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see... Yeah, okay. I mean, there... Yeah. Th Everything you said is true. They are short. They are funny. They generally establish what's happening. Um, and unfortunately, being 10 seconds long, they are a, a weird thing to insert. Thomas, I'm wearing my Pigman shirt today. Pigmon. Six seconds with T-Nut. <laughs> they call him six second... Never mind. Um, 10 seconds with Thomas and then say the thing. Ten second Thomas. <sighs> All right, I have, to, I have to read the rest of these alerts. It is Thursday. It is Thursday. <laughs> Vagabond. Vagabond, so do I. So do I. I remember sitting there with Thomas and he's like, don't save this. And I was like, you don't know what I'll need. <laughs> Thomas! <laughs> With me, you only need 10 seconds because I'm so intense. Uh, uh, 300 Bits from Fries Pikachu says, Well, I just got back from my very first driving lesson. Felt Ooh. a bit weird, actually, being behind the wheel, but I think it went fairly well for a first time. Might take a while to get used to it all, though. Congrats. It's a lot at once. Congrats. It's, uh, yeah, it's... Because it's like the rules of the road that you've learned and know and, like, seen... But then it's like actually in practice doing it. It's it's a combination of things, right? It's it's rules. Uh -huh. It's like a list of rules in your head, mm -hmm. and then also the the physical act of driving the automobile. Yeah. And then utilizing those skills while also driving. Yeah. Oh, Renee, Maddie is picking up a, a driver's ed packet. I am not ready. I loved I loved uh, learning to drive. Me too. Um, that was such a a big thing for me, uh, and it. it I, I don't know if the reason I love driving now is because it was such a, like, a necessity at the time. Because I, I, I've talked about it before, but, like, when I was learning to drive, um, my, uh, Coffee. what was it? My mom was, my mom can't see very well at night, right? So she doesn't drive very well at night, so, um, that's one part of it. And then I think my dad... Was it, did my dad have a surgery or something? Where, I like, think he, so. My dad had had a surgery where like he wasn't really supposed to drive. So like right at the time that I got my um, temps, my temp license, mm -hmm. like my parents kind of needed me to drive. So I was doing the driving for like everything. Um, so in the six months, because in South Carolina you turn fifteen, you get your temp license, and then in six months from then you get your full license. In those six months. I put in so many hours, like way above anyone else that was driving. So, yeah. When I had my temps, um, I had to take my dad to a doctor's appointment and he wasn't allowed to drive back. So I had to drive him back mm. and I was very nervous. Yeah. My, uh, before I even turned 15, um, my dad took me out to a, like a big parking lot and was just like, get a feel for it. So. I remember being 14 in my dad's Oldsmobile and going out in the middle of nowhere, and he was like, get out. I was like, what? <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere, what? Are we going for a hike? He's like, no, get out, you're driving. And this is like, just like cornfields, Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> 
Prejean says, I always forget you can drive that early in the U.S. wild. It's, I mean, it's based on the state, right? Like different states are, are different, but. For the most part. For the most part, it's, it's You get 16. your license at 16. Yeah. South Carolina is a weird one where you can drive six months earlier than that. And the thing is, at that point in your life, six months is a long time. Your brain is developing so much that like, it's big. Noah says in New Jersey, it's 16 for a permit and 17 for a license. New York is 17 too. Yeah, there's no part of me that's gonna argue that like 15 and a half is a yeah. little young. It's a little young. Uh, but in Thomas my particular says, instance, I really enjoyed it. Even sooner if you're driving farm equipment. It's the same in Wisconsin. Yeah. We had um, a student in my graduating class like lived on a dairy farm and like was driving way before the rest of us. Oh, hold, hold on here. Manic Mama says, my daughter can get her learner's permit in two weeks. At 14, we are in Nebraska. Oh, see that? Okay, that, that I did not know that. That is that is the lowest number I've ever heard. Wild. Like, I uh, I always thought South Carolina was probably at the bottom, but four, 14, that's that's low. Haley says, 14 is common in a lot of places with, with farms. That makes sense. That's fair. Like, it's Nebraska. Not that you can't get hurt in Nebraska, but I can understand why yeah. Nebraska might be 14 and New York is like, uh, no, 17. You know what blew my mind learning? Um, when I was teaching, there was other teachers who had been teaching a very long time and they're like, oh, I remember when I went to this high school mm -hmm. and how the seniors drove the school buses to go pick up the kids. And I was like, I had no idea they ever let anyone younger than 18 drive the school buses. There's, okay, there's some stipulations here. Uh, Manic Mama says, in Nebraska, you can drive solo at 14 and three months on a school permit if you pass the test. She can drive direct between school and home. Okay, so it's, it's not, we're not getting into full license stuff. We're getting into like very specific yeah. things. South Carolina has that too. And I think a lot of places with the permits have that where like, um, when, when you get your permit from South Carolina, and this is from when I was driving, which is, uh, oh God, 20 years ago. Oh my God, I'm so old. Anyway, um, so 20 years ago, the rules were, uh, you got your permit at 15 and you had to, um, you had to have someone Coffee. in the car. With a full license? With a full license, I think, was the rule. I was not allowed to have more than one person who did not have a license. So, like, Maybe. I could have my sister in the car, because Carly's younger than me. Yeah. But, like, anyone else who didn't have a license, I was not allowed to have anyone else in the car. There were definitely rules, but I also remember not obeying them. <laughs> um... Uh, I, I remember that specifically. Oh, yeah, there was a curfew on ours, too. Uh, like, because the idea of, like, you know, oh, you, you can't have whatever. Like, I needed to I needed to drive people. Mm -hmm. There was a situation where it's like, well, I have to, you know, I'm the one that can drive, and I need to drive the people. And it's like, well, I'm just going to drive the people. Um, it turned out okay. I, I, I've been driving for 20 years. Yeah. I, over 20, I've been driving for over 20 years. That's so weird. I love driving. Like I really just genuinely, it's one of my favorite things in the entire world. And I do wonder if that's because I had to do so much of it. My, my, my dad loves driving too. So I don't know, maybe I get it from him. <laughs> I'd rather drive than fly, as long as it's not so far away that I have to be in the car forever. Haley says, I love being a passenger princess. Is that how you feel? Um, yeah, but I do like to drive. Yeah. Especially a fun car. In our in our relationship, you don't drive if it's... That's because if it's, you like to drive. Yeah, if it's both of us. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of things that you do on your own, and obviously you drive for that. Yeah, but like, I drove yesterday when I drove Haley and I around. Yeah. Chess says, I am unhappy driving or riding. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. I was just talking to Brandon, and he's like, I wish I could figure out where I can learn to drive stick shift. Mm. I was like, if I had one, I'd let you drive it. 
I was doing that. This will sound bizarre. I was. I was. Let me back up a, 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 a minute. When I was young, like really young, like mm -hmm. five, six, whatever, my we had a stick shift, and my dad taught me to. He just like kind of was like, "All right, buddy." Like this is what he'd let you do the. Yeah. Yeah. So I sat in the passenger seat and I changed the gears, mm -hmm. and at the beginning it was like you know. You know, he hits the clutch and he's like, okay, we need to downshift. And I was like, okay, and we need to upshift, okay. My dad would do that. And then eventually it got to the point where like, that was, we didn't have to communicate that anymore. There's the, you know, you can feel the clutch hit. Yeah. So then as a kid, you I, I just operated the clutch for my dad every everywhere we went. And thinking about it now, I'm like, that's actually bizarre. And I've never, I've never driven a stick shift. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I should be able to. Didn't you drive mine? You had me drive it. Uh, like all of two blocks. Yeah. Yeah. But you you put me in the the seat. I think your your goal was to embarrass me. It was be just it was be just honest. us. Be honest. I know, but that, but that was the goal. Was like ah, he's never driven the stick shift, mm -hmm. and like it was my first time driving a stick shift. So yeah, I did screw I it mean, up. I mean, I also did that to everyone. I made Carly drive it. Her, yeah. Carly's first car was to drive was mine. And then I did it to Stephanie probably also. Haley <laughs> says Alex tried to teach me to drive stick on her old car, but I couldn't reach the clutch. Oh, Haley, no. I don't know how Alex's clutch was on that car. Yeah. But like mine, you really had to push it. Like on our, like ours now, it's just like break. Like, but like my clutch on my Kia was like to the floor to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I um, I, I the other thing that me and my dad did was um. From an, from an early age, when I was be riding around with him, is he would have me look for him. Oh. So you know, like we have to, you look left and right. Mm -hmm. My dad only would look one direction. So there was a lot of trust. You know, he trusted me to look for a car, and 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 he, he would pull up and be like, "Can I go?" And I'd be like, "Not yet." And I'm like six. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, we can go. <laughs> Change your gears. <laughs> yeah, I know. My kid was a manual. Uh, but like that's, that's good. Like I was just reading in the um, cycling subreddit, someone was like, "Teach your kids to like spot cyclists and like count them because then that gets them paying attention to yeah. like things on the road." Yeah. Yeah. Thinking back ab ab about it, I'm like, yeah, I guess I've always, I've always been in tune with with cars. Yeah. I don't know how to fix them. I don't know anything about that. They gotta go to a place. My most wow. my most embarrassing moment with driving. Yeah. Was my dad had a um, a Corvette at one point because my dad likes cars and um, he had the windows all tinted and it has to sit out in the sun for that adhesive to like bake onto the glass permanently. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I need you to take the Corvette to work so it can sit out in the parking lot while you're at work. I worked at Lowe's Home Improvement at the time. Yeah. And I was like, cool. Anyway, I pulled into a stall and there was the curb because it was the end of the lot. And I didn't know how to put it in reverse. It was a stick shift. And I was like, God, it won't get into reverse. What the? And then I learned that there's like a... A button. It, it was a ring mm -hmm. on the gearbox that you had to pull up so you could put it into reverse. Ah, uh, yeah. And I figured it out in the end. But at the time I was like, oh my God, what am I doing wrong? Did I break the Corvette? And it was like... It was probably like an 82 vet or something, a 1982 vet. Yeah. <sighs> Through me. I was like... I figured it out. I didn't have to call him. At some point I might drive a stick again, but also maybe not. Like, it's, there's not an incentive. No, in most cars, it's like you have to pay more in some cars to get it. Yeah. Like, I would, I, I would love to have a Subaru BRZ. And it's stick, but it needs premium gasoline. So I'm like, uh. That's the one that's like two, two, two door. It's a coupe, but like there's two seats in the back. Oh, for when you want to fold your friends in yeah. half? Screw that. <laughs> Screw that and every car like that. I just, I want space, man. I want, we have so many people that live here. I'm thinking about like if we had another car, we, we could if we get had, one with third row. If we seating. had third row seating, we could be like the soccer minivan, you know? That would be great. Meanwhile, Mal's like, "How can I get rid of P 
people. How do, how do I? Haley yeah, says we need a church fan. I just want, I want sporty car. That's what I want. Just a little sporty car for me to zip around in. Car, for me, cars are are so utilitarian that I, I want it to be a utility. So the idea of like, oh, this car is, this is my sporty car. I'm like, that's <laughs> a Porsche. It's it's not. Well, my dad gets rid of his. I'll just take it. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Anyway, there's there's more things. We we've really oh, we've really had some tangents this morning. Yeah. Uh, we had 72 months from Tachi Gamer 96. That's a six. Congrats on six. 70 months from Aerodash 3K. 61 months from Bucky Boy 2009. Three bits from Will Peters who says, "Fun fact: In Australia, there was a dog named Bob who would travel on various passenger and mail trains throughout the railway." I love that. I love traveling dogs. <laughs> traveling also, dogs. I should run this also. Uh. Also continued, he was a stray his whole life. He was recognized by passengers and railway employees alike, so he became the railway dog. Let dogs travel. They got places they want to go, so let them go. Give them a little, um, little hobo pack. I don't know how they would care. I guess, I was like, how would a dog carry a stick? <laughs> how would he do it? It's impossible. <laughs> Little hobo packs on a stick. How's a dog gonna carry a stick? That's impossible. You can't do that. <sighs> Haley, please spend time with a dog. I think you need to watch Laika next time they. I have spent a lot of time with with Laika. Second to you, I have spent more time with Laika than anyone else in the Raleigh Collective. I mean, obviously not Alex and Haley, but they live with her. Like I have, I've seen the dog a lot. I just briefly forgot that dogs Thanks, like sticks. Kepler doesn't like Elden sticks. Scout says, oh, the thing they do all the time. Does Laika like sticks? Laika like sticks? Laika like sticks? I've been, I've been at Alex and Haley's house more than anyone else, except for you who has lived there, mm -hmm. since you've lived there to look after Laika. But, like, the number of times, I, I think I have that award. I think I've been there the most. And yet, none of that has taught me that Laika wants a stick. Kepler, how Laika would you... doesn't want a stick. She wants cabbages. Kepler, how would you carry a knapsack? He wouldn't. He would make a human do it for him. <laughs> we got 300 bits from Furious Kitty. It says, nowadays in Germany, you have to sell a kidney for a driver's license. Many of my friends struggle with this now. I'm glad I got mine when I was 19. Oof. What's going on in Germany? Is it expensive? It sounds like it, based on you have to sell a kidney. In what? Wh how much is it in the states? How much did it cost us to switch our license? I don't know. It's not terribly expensive. Yeah. I don't think. What was expensive was the taxes on the vehicle. To get the yes, rate. that was the expense. Yes, yeah. more than four thousand euro for your kitty. Oh says. my god, four thousand! Wow, yeah, like under a hundred bucks here, easy. Yeah, I don't know that there's a state in America that that's more than a hundred dollars. It's pretty cheap, but also like you, you know, you need to drive here. Yeah. Right? Like, if you can't drive in America, that severe, depending on where you live, that severely limits your um, ability to get around mm -hmm. because uh, we don't have. <laughs> we do not have the we infrastructure. We do not have for that. reliable infrastructure for anything else. So, being able to drive is a, is a fairly important part. Um, it is big driving culture. But it has to be because they haven't made it be otherwise. Yeah, and there, I mean, there's cities that are uh, doing it. There are cities that have good public transportation, mm -hmm. but like the U.S. as a whole, doesn't. And the U.S. is huge. The U.S. is huge, and we don't have, we don't have good train. It's not that we don't have train. We have train. We just don't have good train. They're around. I've seen them. 
We have the, uh, Akala. The best train that we have. Akala? Ah, uh, AC. The Legend of Zelda? What is that? What is the good train? Amtrak, uh... This, this is the train. This is, this is our good train that can get up to 150. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know if that's... It's, it's a C. A Sella? I would say a Sella, because it's a C and not a K. I would pronounce that a Sella. Anyway, it's our Northeast Corridor fast train that gets up to 150. That's the fastest one we have. Meanwhile, meanwhile in Japan, all trains go fast. Yeah. There are so many trains, and they all go fast. Where do you want to go? You can be there very quickly. We three to bits some Gadzooks. It says, strange baseball name of the day is Sloppy Thurston. Why was he called Sloppy? I don't know. Let's also draw attention to the fact that his last name was Thurston. Sometimes I'm Thurston. We have two art in the queue. Let's look at these before Ryan we says go. it's Acela. Acela. <laughs> around the world, around the world, around the world, around the world. <laughs> Hey, Overlord Dark Legend. This is a great segue into reminding folks that Extra Life is November 9th. We got our shirts. Yeah, we got our shirts. We got our shirts. We got our team shirts. Um, Haley got a chance to see them yesterday. They're cool. Uh, Chaz and Brandon's, Brandon saw them on Tuesday. Yeah, they're yeah. cool. They got a good design. We were talking about them. Um, very excited. Put it on your calendar, November 9th. If you want to start doing donations, you can. Uh, yep. Just make sure you list the name of a Nintendo 64, GameCube, Wii, or Wii U game that was released in the U.S. We got them. I, I'm pretty sure we got. I'm pretty sure we got them. Pretty sure we got them. Probably. It's Metroid. Uh, still there. <laughs> That's for Switch. I know. That's that's for Haley now. Haley Haley has that and can keep that. That is a that is a gift to Haley. Renee says, "Tell your pocket friend, tell real friend, tell boss friend, hang out with us and raise money." Please for tell kids. everyone. Please tell all of the people. Um, hey, um, I'm gonna need off that Saturday. Oh, you won't be working because you have a charity event to do. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, thank you for knowing. You also that. don't yeah. work on Saturday, so. I know. Shout out the moon. <laughs> yeah, tell Congress. Okay, uh, but this is the longest breakfast stream we've done in a long time. Yeah. We just had a lot, we have a lot of important things we had to talk about. Cars. Mm -hmm. We had to talk about cars. Uh, I always, I always think it's funny, and there's, I'm sure someone could, uh, chart this out and actually look at examples of this, but I feel like at the beginning of Breakfast Stream, mm -hmm. we're both kind of like, yeah. The coffee has to hit. And then, <laughs> well, for me, I mean, it's just me just waking up, but like by the end of the stream, it's just very different. Like we're finally like alert and awake. So anyway, um, things to do, watch the vlog, do that. I'm uh, gonna be working on vlogs today. Apparently uh, people want me to switch gears and work on Japan, which I, I can do. Um, is there anything else? Hey, Kep, you know Extra Life's coming up? Uh, tomorrow afternoon, are you streaming? Yeah, my normal time. Okay, tomorrow tomorrow afternoon at 11 a.m., I was streaming, still working on that. A uh, little painting, yeah. Blue Daybreak. And then um, tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern, we continue with Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, I know everyone was curious about, like, the, the game still working last friday after the stream i shut the xbox off and then turned it back on and the suspend feature was working correctly so as so long as good. it as long as it didn't like Hi. stop working in the last week which i don't know why i would have done that 
um, then it's fine. But I will turn it on. You know what I'll do? Just for safety. Tomorrow, three hours before we go live, I will turn Set it on. Reminder. I'll turn it on. That's tomorrow at like five. Remind me tomorrow at 5 p.m. to turn on Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. So tomorrow, 5 p.m., I'll turn it on. And if for whatever reason it's not there, then that gives me just enough time to redo everything we've done very quickly. Although I, I don't think that'll be the case. Honestly, if it, if it lost anything, it would lose since we entered Clanker's Cavern, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. And I bet it saves after we get Jiggies and stuff. Have we gotten a Jiggy in Clanker's Cavern? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe? I don't remember. I don't know. Okay. Uh, we're, we're, we're done for real. Um, thanks, everyone, for being here this morning. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. You didn't have to. I didn't. <laughs> it's news to me. I mean, like, I can't, if, I can't force you. <laughs> I know. Like, if, if, you know, if you woke up and you're like, I don't want to do it. I mean, I'm not going to be like, but you must. <laughs> but thou must. You didn't sign a contract. Uh, Y'all have yourselves a wonderful Thursday, and um, thank Kepler, Kepies, and Mallory. Mallory will see you in the morning at 11 a.m. on on her channel. That's it. <laughs> Ten second Thomas Dome. <laughs> <laughs>